If you're interested in dinosaurs, and we can assume you are as you're watching this channel, you might be familiar with a group called the Theropods. Theropod translates to beast-footed, which gives you an idea of what this group of dinosaurs was like. Theropods were a diverse group of dinosaurs who were bipedal, meaning, like humans, they used two legs for walking. Some of the most famous dinosaurs and ferocious dinosaurs to ever roam the earth belong to this group, like the Tyrannosaurus rex, the Deinonychus, and the Velociraptor. However, the dinosaur we're talking about today is a strange addition to the family tree of the feathery theropods, called the Therizinosaurus. The first Therizinosaurus fossil was found in 1948 in Mongolia by a joint Soviet and Mongolian expedition. This dinosaur would have inhabited Mongolia's Namegd formation. In fact, it lived in the same area as the Velociraptor. But five million years later, in the late Cretaceous period. By this point in time, the vast sprawling deserts had transformed into a wetter climate. A fertile floodplain lent itself to a larger variety of dinosaurs across North America and Asia, where the Therizinosaurus roamed. The identification of the Therizinosaurus wasn't smooth sailing. Yevgeny Maliev, the paleontologist leading the 1948 expedition, thought it was a giant sea turtle at first. It wasn't until 1970 that the Therizinosaurus was finally identified as a type of theropod. The Therizinosaurus is a really interesting dinosaur. Lindsay Zano, a researcher at the University of Utah and Utah Museum of Natural History, has described this dinosaur as the ultimate in bazaar, saying it resembled a cross between an ostrich, a gorilla, and Edward Scissorhands. So what makes it so weird? Let's deep dive into this dinosaur. A lot of what we're about to tell you is well-researched guesswork. Not much physical evidence of this creature has been discovered yet. Researchers have used evidence from claws, forelimbs, and hind limbs. From these parts, they've had to fill in the blanks. Researchers have concluded the Therizinosaurus was a large, heavy creature. We think it was very tall and possibly ate by reaching into the treetops. Some estimates come in at 33 feet long and 5 tons in weight, giving the T-Rex a run for its money by only a few tons. Although there hasn't been any evidence discovered that the Therizinosaurus had a feathery coat, we can assume from its ancestry that this was probably the case. Going from top to toe, this dinosaur had a small head. It had unusually shaped teeth, with no teeth in the front half of its upper jaw, leading to a beaky mouth which would have been great for cropping leaves from treetops. These are the first indicators that the Therizinosaurus differed from its ancestors by having a herbivore diet. Although some researchers believe Therizinosaurus might have eaten small animals as well. Finally, the dinosaur probably had side-facing eyes, great for taking in a wide view of the landscape around them. The Therizinosaurus had long arms, at the end of these arms was the dinosaur's piece de resistance, long, robust claws with curved blades. Between 76 centimeters to 1 meter long, these sharp claws are the longest claws found on any dinosaur. In fact, they're the largest claw of any animal to ever exist on Earth. This even beats out Dinochirus, a large theropod whose claws that earned its name, which translates to terrible hand. These extended appendages would have helped the Therizinosaurus reach into and grab dangling greenery and foliage to eat. Of course, there was another use for these long digits. Even for a huge dinosaur like the Therizinosaurus, predators and threats roamed the land like a huge Tyrannosaur, Tarbosaurus batar, a predator who lived in Asia and can be thought of as a counterpart to the T-Rex. The Tarbosaurus batar had a large, robust head powerful jaws and strong, long legs. 
Whilst the Therizinosaurus probably couldn't outrun the Tarbosaur, it could stand its ground with its meter-long claws. The Therizinosaurus walked on strong hind legs and had four claws on its foot. This dinosaur had a usual body shape, with broad hips and a pot belly, traits that can be seen in other related dinosaurs. You see, the Therizinosaurus isn't alone in its branch on a theropod family tree. In fact, it is the heaviest dinosaur in a group called Therizinosaurus. Looking into its family group, you can see the foundation of many of the features found on the Therizinosaurus. We know about some of the members of the group Therizinosaurus more than others, but it does include dinosaurs like the Bapiosaurus, a small omnivore theropod with a toothless beak who lived in the early Cretaceous period in Asia. It wandered on two legs, but unlike its later Therizinosaurid ancestors, it had undeveloped inner toes. Not the four fully functioning toes other Thenosaurs had. Impressions on the fossils found tell researchers that this dinosaur had two kinds of feathers covering its body. One was a downy covering, which was useful for insulation, and is a feature we see in lots of later small theropods. It also had larger feathers, which may have been used for display. With its fluffy coat and standing 2.2 meters in length, the Bapiosaurus was once the largest feathered dinosaur ever discovered. However, it has since had its title taken away by the colossal 9 meter long Tyrannosaur, Eutyrannus huali. The Therizinosaurs also include the Falcarius, a herbivore who was discovered in Utah. This dinosaur is a similar age to the Bapiosaurus, and they both represent the middle evolutionary stage between fierce carnivores to herbivores. It had long arms with sharp claws that grew just over 10 centimeters in length. Standing on its hind legs, it reached 1.4 meters tall. This dinosaur is one of the earliest examples of a theropod with a plant-based diet, so it's an important piece of the puzzle in the question of why these herbivore theropods developed. James Kirkland, a paleontologist in Utah, says Falcarius shows the beginning of features we associate with plant-eating dinosaurs, including a reduction in size of meat-cutting teeth to leaf-shredding teeth, the expansion of the gut to a size needed to ferment plants, and the early stages of changing the legs so that they could carry a bulky body instead of running after fast prey. Another evolutionary step was the Alchosaurus, an early Cretaceous creature whose fossils have been found in Mongolia. Key features of this dinosaur include a toothless, beak-like mouth, which was perfect for eating plants, alongside a pot belly to help digest them. Like its relatives, it had significant claws and walked on its hind legs. The Erlikosaurus existed in the late Cretaceous. This dinosaur has so many of the other features we're familiar with from other Therizinosaur dinosaurs. For example, a round beak, perfect for cropping off plants, small teeth, and slender claws. Finally, the Segnosaurus also lived in the late Cretaceous. Yet again, we see many distinct family features. Large claws, four toes, and a big belly. This Therizinosaur is larger than some of the earlier members of this group coming in at an estimated 6 to 7 meters long. This group has often perplexed those studying them. Fossils belonging to this group have been known since the 1950s, but their unusual features, like their teeth, hips, and toes, made researchers unsure of their relationship to other dinosaurs. As we know, the Therizinosaurus wasn't identified as a theropod until 1970. It actually took a lot later for more complete specimens to be found, and in the mid-1990s, the group's theropod ancestry was confirmed. Although they weren't carnivores, and thus don't display typical features found amongst meat-eating dinosaurs, there were other clues to this theropod link. For example, like all theropods, they stand on two strong hind legs. Now we have more knowledge. We think the changes which make this group distinct, like their teeth, their wide hips, and strong hind limbs, probably happened early in the group's evolution. 
With a larger gut needed to digest plants, more room and better support was needed. All herbivore dinosaurs have a lineage that involves carnivorous dinosaurs. So these evolutionary steps make sense, even if it did end up with a strange looking creature. All these dinosaurs belong to the Manoraptora clade. A clade is a group that includes all the descendants from one common ancestor. This is a lineage of creatures which developed into the birds we see today. You might have heard about the Therizinosaurus in one of the biggest questions often debated between dinosaur fans and particularly amongst fans of the game Ark. In a fight between the Therizinosaurus and the Tyrannosaurus Rex, who would win? On one hand, the Therizinosaurus had an impressive set of weaponry, with its huge sharp claws. But is this any match for the super strong bite of the larger T-Rex? Is this a case of who ambushes who first? We won't have an answer for this one, because as far as we know, these two dinosaurs never met in real life. However, we'd love to know your thoughts on the T-Rex versus Therizinosaur. Who is the winner? If you've enjoyed finding out about the Therizinosaurus, it's about to join its family members with a starring role on the big screen if trailers from Jurassic World Dominion are anything to go by. Whether you will enjoy the film or not, it's certainly cool that this dinosaur will be shown to wide audiences and hopefully get a bit more recognition. <laughs>